tell you, if I had to describe the human condition with only one word, it would be this one, malleable. Man is shaped by the elements. He's not merely the sum of his parts. He's moreover the parts that surround him. The people we flash on every day, we all reflect on what we say. For every painting, one ought not to forget the frame that fits it. The implication is quite a frightening one, and it's one I think about a lot. Had I taken my first breath a mere few days later, I likely wouldn't be standing here today, here on this almost Olympian stage, right beside my fellow classmates, my comrades, my pantheon, if you will. The first time I hoped my parents would be looking up to me, had circumstances been even slightly different, the speech could have waited until Abi 2022, perhaps. Something as minuscule as the day of my birth molded me into the man I am today. And if that's really the case, how can we even begin to fathom a timeline in which I never got to know the friends I share the stage with today, my classmates, my kinfolk? For a man is moldable, he is malleable, not unlike a slab of stone. Man is made of marble, yet simultaneously, he is his own sculptor. And I have come across several sculptors over the past few years. Most of them surround me at this very moment. Some I am starting to write in their eyes as I speak, and others I probably won't have the chance to see again. Each one of them, knowingly or not, with a chisel in hand, and day by day, as is expected from a sculptor, they chipped away at me, one by one, ridding me of one layer of confusion after the other. Layers which kept me asking who I was or ought to be. Truth is, growth takes time. We are, and remain, malleable. And I admit, not every stroke may have been necessarily uh, fruitful, <laughs> to say the least. Uh, but you can't rush art. Sure, some have left bruises, bumps, indents that we live with to this day. But doesn't every other sculpture do the same? Has there ever been a single pillar with perfect ridges? I doubt it. Matter of fact, that's the inherent risk that comes with being malleable. We mustn't forget that every town, every city, every empire, Start off with nothing more but a single pillar. Hell, these include cities your children, and hopefully our children as well, are going to attend for university. From Heidelberg to Barcelona to Oxford, even Amsterdam, I think, to even as far as Rome. I understand that the sound might, this might sound frightening. Climbing Olympus also seems unimaginable at first when standing on the mountain. Yet, we have come so far already, haven't we? And it's exactly these experiences, and the experiences yet to come, that shape us into the utopias that we yearn after. These are the experiences that turn pillars into heavens, because we mustn't forget, Rome wasn't built in a day, nor so by Romans. Thank you to the parents who worked so hard to make this event a reality for granting me the past five minutes to speak my mind. And thank you to my classmates for the last 14 years. I wouldn't have wanted it any other way.